Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We will be going over the new system from Wealth Minister called the UPS system. So the system is called the Ultrapip Scalper system and it's going for 1500 right now and it's promised to be a non-repaint system. We will be seeing if these claims are true with regards to the 100% non-repaint but obviously the price would be true. So this system uses a automatic entry criteria where you are given the points where you enter and the points where you take your profits. And then it also uses the bar patterns that are from the Red Billion and Belly system. And we have seen these words that describe the candlestick patterns used by wealth minister before in his previous system so for this one you can see that he enters once the buy line is crossed and then he waits until it hits its take profit and he uses a trailing stop in order to get the most profit possible so this is how we are going to review the system by copying how he enters and seeing how profitable we can be so we're in the MetaTrader 4 platform right now and you can see we have the system. It has its entry for buys, entry for sales and stake profit levels. Now we have set this up to look like Wealth Minister system since out of the box it doesn't look like his one because surprise surprise he didn't actually make it. Some other person made it. And if we click the indicate this list, go to the UPS system can see that this person was actually made by these people and if you click the link it takes you to where the strategy is so if you'd like to see the original creators thoughts on the robot and then you just need to click the link that comes with the robot so if you notice before in the top left hand corner it doesn't say alt scalpel by wealth minister it says three tier london breakout indicator and all wealth minister did to change this was type into the information box so now all you can see that we did was change the information to alt scalpel by wealth minister and that's as easy as it gets to changing a software's information and passing it off as your own if I can just bring your attention back to the initial post of this. So if you look at the initial post from the creators of the software, you'll see that this specific software has been around since 2010 and Wealth Minister is only now just selling it. So you can obviously see who was first to this. And that means that this robot is around 10 to 11 years old. So that just shows that anyone can just copy and paste someone else's software and then pass it off as their own. But coming back to how the robot works, the claims were that the robot was non-repaint and through my back testing I have found that that is true. So the way the robot works is that at 8 o'clock of every day it will pop up your entry by an entry sell point and these points do not change for the entire day they stay exactly the same so the claim that it is 100% non repaint is definitely true but remember this is not something that wealth minister himself made this is stolen from someone else and then reposted so we can just run this back test see that the take profit was hit so the strategy that has brought some success over here is waiting for your chart pattern to come out after this initial point here so after this light blue and then you wait for your chart pattern to come out and then you follow the direction so if the entry sell point is over here and you have the red chart pattern and then you place your sell at this point over here and take your profit over here and if you'd like to work exactly as wealth ministers working you'd have a trailing stop 
and if we just let that trade play out a bit more you will see that from your entry point over here you hit the second last point down here giving you 620 pips profit now the profit for each of these is not the same as you can see by this one which is a lot smaller so your entry buys over here and if you will take the second last one from this one it's 250 points so the amount of profit that you can take in a day is very variable so since you've seen that the profit targets for the different days can vary that means that you can't be using a strict 3 to 1 or 2 to 1 ratio where you only use a take profit of say a thousand pips with this system your take profit has to vary so a way that you could work with keeping your profits is setting a level that is at the buy level as your stop loss so if your entry is on this level here then your stop lo loss level is up here and that generates about a stop loss of 200 and your first take profit target is around 18 pips so now as we get into the results of the back test that I did I used the month of January and back tested three of the pairs that were recommended and as you can see over here the win rate for euro USD on the one hour time frame was around 68 to 69 percent and the total take profit in pips was around 2220 pips and that means that if you used a lot size of 0.01 you would walk away with a profit of 22 dollars you are allowed to change the lot sizes and that would depend on your account size as well so looking at GBP USD now, you are still using the one hour time frame and as you can see the win rate is 75% on this one but that's only due to a one trade win that was a loss on the other side at Euro USD. The pips profit for this pair was 1971 and that would give you 19.7 dollars if we're using a 0.01 lot size like i said before if you want higher returns you'd have to higher the lot size but that also means you're making your risk a lot higher as well so the difference between the gbp usd backtest and the euro usd backtest wasn't too great the win rates were basically the same if you take into account take into account that the only difference was one trade that was a win on gbp usd side and the pips profit was also very really similar with euro usd being 22 dollars and gbp usd being 19 dollars the last pair that I back tested was the Euro JPY pair and the win rate was exactly the same as Euro USD. So for the month of January for three pairs we got a similar amount of wins at 11 and 12. 11 for Euro JPY and Euro USD and 12 for GBP USD and the pips that you would take home from the euro jpy pair would be 2052 which translates to 20.5 dollars if you were using a 0.01 knot size so even the take home profits for all three pairs were quite close together so right before this we were looking at the results that you could achieve with this scalping strategy and I'd like to give some advice as to how you would enter and exit your trades. So like explained before, you enter your trades once you pass your entry sell and entry buy points. Another piece of advice is that you move your stop losses as you go along. 
so once you first enter let's take this section for example once you enter over here and then your stop loss is over here but as soon as you hit sell target number one you move your stop loss all the way up until sell target number one so that if the market does go past sell target one that means that you get stopped out but you get stopped out in a profit so like right here you can see that the market didn't push further down the market came all the way back up and stopped you out over here so instead of only taking profit over here which would be past your entry point making that still a loss you are secured and you get your profit of around 300 ish pips so that method would work in a situation like this as well so since the market hasn't broken past sell target one your stop loss will still be all the way over here but if you were a conservative trader that means that you would have closed out as soon as you hit sell target number one if you are planning on trailing your stops as soon as the market pushes through sell target number one that means that your stop loss moves from entry buy all the way down to sell target number one securing your profits over there so that if the market does push up a little bit that means that you get stopped out but you are secured against any reversals but you would repeat this process until you hit your desired take profit or target number five so if i was to rate this system out of 10 I would give it a 8 out of 10 since there is a bit of a method to what's going on over here and that does result in consistent profits as you saw with the three back tests that I conducted. The system is very easy to use, you just enter after the bar closes below or above your entry buy and sell points. The tricky part comes in when you have to decide on where your take profits are. The system is one that you will have to watch. Since you are basically putting all of your trust into whether or not the entry sell or entry buy is correct. And as we did see with the back tests, the only stable factor about this is that if it does go back to your stop loss, your stop loss amount is going to be quite high so like I said when it comes to this system the only thing that can be consistent will be that your stop loss has the potential to be higher than a lot of your trades so you might see a take profit of 781 you might see a take profit of 126 your stop losses will always be higher than the lowest take profit since that gap that you initially start off with is not a one-to-one -one ratio but the stop loss has more pips in it than the take profit so to me that is the risky part about the system which is why it doesn't get a 9 or a 10 from me it only gets a 8 out of 10 and it is helped by the fact that the system doesn't repaint at all. We are now over at the Forex Reviews is a YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you want more content like this one. For the download of the software, you will need to go into the most recent post, the robot review of the Ranger Expert Advisor. And in the description, you will get the link to the Google Drive. So from there, you will receive the indicator, which is the UPS system, and the set file you need to apply to it in order to make it look like Wild Ministers 1. Thank you for watching this week's video. Goodbye.